everyone it's Santina and Juno back with another art project this is my other dog she's an Alaskan Malamute and she turns four on Wednesday so if you'd like to wish her a happy birthday um, post a comment on Facebook and I will let her know your well wishes um, I caught her when she was a little sleepy she just woke up from a nap so she doesn't have quite as much energy as she normally does, but um, I just wanted to bring her on to say hello. So for this week, we are going to make the um, turtle craft. So some supplies that you're going to need is the eggshell, or eggshell, <laughs> the egg carton. You're going to need a little puff ball, your googly eyes your pipe cleaners, some glue, of course, and your markers to decorate your shell. So I'm going to get started. I did a trial run to see how well the glue will hold. So I have one done already, and I wanna start with that just so that can dry completely before we go and attach it onto the turtle shell. So all you do is apply a little glue and press firmly. And again, this is another sticky project. It's hard to make art without getting messy. I know anytime I paint or draw, I usually get it all over my hands, so if you are worried about getting messy, just make sure that you prepare beforehand, get your gloves out, and anything else that you might need. I have um, an apron that I usually wear when I paint. Next. While that's drying, I'm going to take some markers and I'm going to decorate my turtle shell. Let's see. I'm gonna go with a green color start off a little traditional. I might add some different colors along the way. So I hope everybody's been having some good weeks. I know this past week the weather was beautiful. Hope you got a chance to go outside, get some exercise, or if you didn't feel like walking around, if you just like to sit on your porch with your family. That's always a great option as well. just to get any kind of fresh air. I think it's definitely important. A little bit of a mood booster. A little update. I know I told you guys last week when we made the bird's nest that I would check in on the nest to see if I found any eggs or baby birds and I 
took a picture of the nest and there's one egg in there. And usually whenever I open my curtains to check in on the on the nest, the bird flies away. I think I scare it. <laughs> but the other day when I opened the curtains, the bird did not move. So that must mean that mama bear or mama bear, mama bird is protecting protecting her baby. Or she's getting used to me. And then I make I made a little bird friend. Thing. coloring your shell will definitely take the most time so you can really take your time make it your own if you want to use different colors you can have your turtle have a rainbow shell or if you want it to be your favorite color I think that would be really great too So I color the shell green. Now I'm just going to make those designs that you always see on turtle shells. Now all turtles have these interesting, almost octagon shapes on their shells. As I've told you guys at the beginning of this video, this Wednesday, May 27th, is my dog's birthday. She's gonna be turning four years old. But don't be fooled because she still has the same puppy energy that she had the day that we brought her home, if not more. So I always have to make sure she gets a chance to run around and get all of her energy out. Thankfully we have a fenced in backyard where she can run, <clears throat> excuse me, where she can run around as much as she wants. Sometimes to the point where she doesn't like to come in, but she usually gets tired out eventually. <laughs> Okay, so here is my little turtle shell. The next thing I'm going to do is glue on its legs. So your 
pipe cleaners are gonna be the legs, and they're a little long, so, and also to give it some more support, what we're going to do is we're gonna bend it in half, and I'm just gonna give mine a little twist, just so they're secure. And then I'm gonna flip my turtle shell upside down and I'm going to apply the glue. So the egg carton has these little extensions that go out. So I'm gonna apply the glue right under there. And I'm just gonna do one at a time because I don't want my glue to dry. I like to apply a generous amount just so I make sure that they stick. And then you take the part that you twisted and you press that inside. And you just want to hold it for a couple, couple seconds. And the longer you hold it, the better it'll stay. Also, to allow it to dry completely, I'm going to turn my shell upside down. Right, and I'm just going to complete that process for the rest of the legs. Just going to twist. I remember this one time when I was little, my dad was driving home from work and he came across the biggest snapping turtle that he had ever seen. And he wanted us to see it. And this was back when phones didn't have cameras, he didn't have a camera on him at the time but he thought it was so neat and he took the turtle because it was it was in the middle of the road it was a place where turtles shouldn't be so he wanted to take it home just to have us see it and then he was going to take it to an area where there was water so the turtle can be safe. But you have to be very, very careful because sn snapping turtles especially, they can be a little dangerous. And luckily, it stayed in its shell when he brought it home. So we didn't get to see his face, but it had a pretty big shell. On the last leg, My hands are turning green from the markers. <laughs> so if you don't want that to happen, like I always say, just make sure that you wear your gloves. Okay, well that's drying. I think I want to try to, oh no, we lost a leg.
if you're ever doing an art project and something happens, it falls apart, it's not coming out the way that you want it to, just remember that happens to everybody. And the thing about making art is you need to practice. if you want it to come out a certain way. And what I've learned is that I feel like I learn more when I make those mistakes and those things do happen because that allows my brain to come up with solutions on how I can do better next time. So if that ever happens and you feel yourself becoming frustrated and you think, I can't do this, I don't want to do this, try to take a second and think, what can I do that will make this work? All right. Now, I think I got the legs, the legs glued on there. I'm going to add my puff ball on the front because I have this little open area there. I just want to patch it up. If you have different types of glue at home, if you have the Elmer's glue in the squeeze bottle that you think will work a little better, you can try that. Or if your parents have a hot glue gun and you have somebody that can help you that also might work a little bit better but you want to be very careful when working with hot glue guns because I've burnt my hands several times it does hurt so you just want to take those precautions this will still need time to dry, but this is my turtle. I think it came out really cute. And this is going to be one of those projects where I'm going to have to allow it to dry completely before I can put it right side up, but that's okay. All right, so that was this week's art project. I hope you guys really enjoy it. And as always, send your pictures to myself and Tara. Um, I hope that you guys have a really great Memorial Day weekend. I hope you eat some good cookout food and spend time with your families and remember um, to do your social distancing, washing your hands, and trying not to touch your face. Um, and I will see you guys next week for um, next week's art project where we will make the snail. All right. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.